free. Uh, we are the marketing research team of Logger Company Limited, and we are going to introduce a new way of doing shopping. As you all know, uh, it has a subsidiaries all over the Canada, like No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, all these things. So we are going to introduce a new way of doing shopping. Uh, like the DDP, we are going to introduce a shopping cart budget calculator, in which you can set your budget, which can help you uh, if you are exceeding your budget. It will say that you are exceeding your budget. So it will help you in calculating your total cost while doing shopping. So I'm just gonna uh, go round the table and want you guys introduce yourself and tell me how often you guys do shopping. So I'm gonna start from you. Did you myself? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm Lloyd. Uh, I'm uh, from EOB class. Yeah. Uh, how often uh, I'm go some beaches? I think once a week because I'm not really have a free time. So. Uh, my name's Amy and uh, I usually go shopping like once a week. Okay. My name's Tara and I would say once a week. I'm Hillary. I'm maybe once, twice a week if I forget something. I'm Kat and I'm also once a week. <laughs> okay. I just want to know um, which kind of shopping do you prefer more? Like, let's say grocery, clothes. So, which type of shopping do you do more? Oh, clothes. Clothes. Yeah. Okay. I usually do grocery shopping more. Okay. Um, I do grocery shopping more, but I also work in retail, so I'm always surrounded by shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely do grocery shopping more, and I actually like it better. I don't really like shopping for clothes. <laughs> I'm also a grocery shopper. More. Shopping. Mm -hmm. Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to introduce my team members. Uh, she's Raman Lee, and I'm, I'm Harpreet, Sud, Sara, and Nabjo. She's taking video. And now I'll ask a few questions. Which store do you shop at the most? Please specify the reason you have. Um, which which store do you prefer more? To walk. And please specify the reason why you prefer those stores more. Like no frills, you want to go to no frills, or like Freshco, Walmart? Uh, it is a uh, superstore. Okay, a superstore. Okay. No frills. Uh, can you specify the reason? Why do you often go to that store only? Uh, and, uh, and Costco also because uh, I think uh, it's um, always uh, often have a good deal for me. Okay. So. You? Um, I usually shop at No Frills um, and Walmart. Um, no Frills because they have the PC points card, um, but Walmart, I know, it's just because it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, I would say Superstore and Freshco. Maybe Superstore because I like to buy the salmon. And then for clothes, I go to Winner's Lock, but because I work there, so I get a discount. <laughs> uh, for grocery shopping, I'm also a superstore. Uh, it's like better prices, so it's more of a deal, and it's close to my house, so it's nice and easy to get to. Yeah, I do superstore and Walmart, mostly for prices and the uh, proximity to my house. Okay, so how do you estimate or calculate your total cost while doing shopping? Uh, oh, my story. Oh, you're just looking at me? Yeah. Yeah, I always use the calculator on my phone, so I wander around my phone. I don't usually, like, I'll try to do it a little bit in my head, but just, like, really rough numbers, not very accurate. Yeah. Um, I usually, in the beginning of the month, I kind of just calculate, like, how much I should be spending, and then, like, I kind of have, like, a little list I try to use for the month. And then I, once we base that list. Um, well, it depends, like, how much money I have. Like, if I'm short on money that month, then I will use my calculator on my phone. Um, but if not, then I just don't really count how much I spend. I just put it in the heart. <laughs> oh, so, uh, I just do a quick for my phone. Okay. So, how often your budget exceed when you do shopping? And what will you do when it exceeds? I don't know. I never. <laughs> 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 I'll put something back if it's too much. Yeah. Gotta go back. That was so. the easiest way. Yeah. yeah. Um, I go over like a little bit. Uh, some. Like for groceries, usually it's when I've gone like off of my list and I got something I didn't need. So let's say the like chips looked really good, then well they're not on the list, so chips go back. Yeah. Or next week I try to spend less because sometimes there might be a week where I need to buy more meat and it's more expensive. Then next week I still have lots left over, so next week it's less. Yeah. Okay. I usually put stuff back uh, if I need to, or I use like my PC points that have like 
because like it can be cash. So like it goes towards my groceries if I don't really shop for money. Oh, sorry, I I don't really like uh, worry about it. Okay. So uh, as I already told you earlier about our product, what we are going to introduce. So what are views on that product like? It, uh, it is like you have to set up budget and that, and if you are exceeding our budget, it breaks. So what are your views on that? I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. I would use it. It's a good idea to have it right on the cart, because even when I have my shopping list on my phone, mm -hmm. then I'm like trying to push the cart and trying to get on my phone. Um, but I think a good idea might also be making it like somehow like you can connect them if you already have like a listed budget. No, I like the idea of it because like I'm not a big math person, so it's really difficult for me to try and do math in my head or if like and my phone's dead or something. Because like sometimes in the winter, my phone shuts off because the battery pack like freezes inside or something. Yeah. Or so, sometimes I'm trying to figure out like which product is the better deal. Yeah. Oh yeah. So having the calculator would be helpful.